Hey there, I'm Dion Garcia. And I'm Chad Dominic Sahelan. And uh, we are here in Bixby Knowles, Long Beach at Steelcraft. Uh, this is a seven restaurant collection of hipster restaurants, all contained within the confines of shipping containers. And we're joined here by two yesterday. Why don't you guys yes. introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Bree. I lived in Bixby Knowles my entire life. And I'm Rebecca, and I just like to eat food. So uh, while we brave the storm today of very light rain, <laughs> let's go ahead and eat. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sad. <laughs> Am I the only one waffling? They've got the beautiful Dulce de, Li Dulce de Liege. We call the DDL. I saw this one on Yelp and I was like really like tempted by that. Was it like whatever? Um, I think I'm gonna order the original ramen they have. Probably get it without some of the extra stuff like the bean sprouts. Restaurants like when are you ever gonna find a ramen place next to a shaved ice place next to a waffle place? So, Why? Yeah, that's it. Are you sure, Jess? <laughs> Is there a triangulation? I've never been to Hawaii. <laughs> Let's start with Chad. Does he have ice cream? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig into the ice cream first. Get that little action right. Mmm. Oh my god, look at the bits. I'm so happy. Are you? <laughs> I've never had fried ice cream before, but that's like so wonderful. They don't mm. actually fry the ice oh, okay. cream. It's like fried stuff on top of the ice cream. The crunch on the ice cream too, because it's such a soft, mm. you know, item, and then you get that really nice crunch that I comes should probably out. use the knife. Got a lot of good ASMR sounds. <laughs> <on the light. laughs> I love churro gimmicks. I know churro waffle. That's amazing. That was like. <laughs> you look so a little boy right now. I love it. <laughs> So we got a pizza at, do you remember what the restaurant was called? Desano's. Desano's? Mm. So I got this from Desano's Pizza, not DiGiorno's. Hey, all right. I'll say this, it looks like a, a top a top notch, well, a little bit better than like things that you would get at Blaze or Pyology. Uh, it's got good crust. You got that? Aww. It's pizza. <laughs> it's, it's that thinness of it. And like, this is the margarita pizza. I got like the plainest one you can get just to see like, Yo, what can you give to me with just the most basic of flavors? But it's like, I have to get some mushroom on that because like, I'm a big mushroom kind of guy. And like, I don't know what the basil leaf was for, but it was pretty good. It tastes really like, I, I don't want to say authentic, but it does really taste like really good. It doesn't taste like New York style, but it's like really, really fresh. And I like that. Oh, you folded it. You I think Chad's the real authentic. Yeah, you, know, you already know. I'm, I'm beginning to think this was just like for show. <laughs> but the crust is really thin though. I like it. Mm. It's pretty. Pretty thin, pretty good. So I got the pork and the gyoza. Like, I'm, okay. I'm super excited because it literally looks like it came out of Miyazaki film. Like when I took oh a God. photo of it, I thought it was like that special filter that made it look like cartoons. It's gonna be absolutely amazing when I dive into this. So here we go. Mm. Absolutely. Fresh is the first thing that comes to mind. Really soft noodle. God, and that sauce is just so creamy. And it's super salty and wonderful. The meat's really good. You're getting a lot of money. Or, no, <laughs> I wish you were getting a lot of money. The broth is really, really good. It's um, creamy, but it isn't too, like, you can't, like, fill it after you're done eating. I also got you guys some gyozas, which is absolutely amazing. No, Yo, let me tell you, I love gyoza. What do you think? Yeah, the, it's very soft. Yeah, it's not too doughy or thick. Mm. It's just that right consistency. Right. And like the filling inside is like it's great. The meatiness and the vegetables. It's beep beep. Beep beep. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely come back um, if not for the food, definitely the beer. Um, I did try the beer oh, earlier. We didn't talk about the beer. I know the beer here is by Smog City. Smog City is based out of the South Bay. Um, so it's really nice to have a really good brewery that's nearby, um, especially because the prices are really, really awesome for the amount that you're getting. Um, the one that I got was this one called the Cuddle Bug. It was a sour with like boysenberry earlier. So amazing, great deals. Um, extremely, extremely, extremely <laughs> nice people. And also they'll let you try a lot of different things too if you're kind of unsure what you're interested in. Okay. So this is the glass yeah, that you get yeah. from Smog City Brewery. Fancy. Ooh. 
It's a chalice, <laughs> as I like to call it. <laughs> cool. This kind of place reminds me of some place like Anaheim Packing District, which is like, it's pretty good, but that's like, if I'm not, if I'm kind of feeling lazy, and most of the time I am, I wouldn't drive all the way there. So this is like a good alternative, you know, cool hipsterish food, cool hipsterish place. You can take, this, this is an Instagram lover's dream. Yeah, uh, really liked our experience here, uh, despite the weather, but uh, I would definitely come back on a better day. Thanks, Groundhog's Day. Yeah. What's the little shit's name? Punks, punks Punk, to... Punks to Fuxy Phil. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> punks to Fuxy Phil. Something, like, something stupid like that. Yeah. Well, anyway, this was Taste Buds. This was Taste Buds. This was Taste Buds. Huh? What? We're trying this to is sign taste off. Buds. We're signing off here at Steelcraft. Check it out. It's made out of recycled stuff. Y'all hipsters like that kind of thing, right? <laughs>